Bang Nation. Today, 78 NBA prospects participated in day one of this year's combine held in Chicago. This year's field included Coleman Hawkins and Terrence Shannon Jr., but only one of those guys actually worked out today. Terrence Shannon Jr. opted not to work out in front of scouts. Our Brett Barons was on site in Chicago to see Hawkins and the rest of the draft field show their skills. The best up and coming prospects in the world are here in the Windy City working out and meeting with prospective NBA teams and scouts and that includes Alani Terrence Shannon Jr. and Coleman Hawkins. They are two of the 70 plus prospects here doing agility tests and shooting drills. It's all part of the pre-draft process leading up to next month's NBA draft and for Terrence and Coleman this is nothing new. It's year two for them here in Chicago. Of course they elected to return to Illinois last season, leaning them to the Elite Eight, but that's no longer an option for Shannon. He's out of eligibility, meaning this is his last chance to improve his stock. Of course, his criminal case in Kansas hangs in the balance. It will no doubt have an impact on how teams view him as a possible draft pick. His trial date is scheduled for June 10th through the 13th, two weeks before the draft in Brooklyn. With all that in front of him, there is a big range of projections from prognosticators from just outside the lottery to mid-second round. A lot of unknowns for Shannon, who certainly has first-round talent. It's a different story for Coleman, who has options coming to the Combine. Another year of eligibility leaves the door open for Hawkins to return to college if he wants. He said he's 100% into turning pro, but he's also in the transfer portal. After four years with the Illini, it's unknown whether Coleman would look to return to Champaign or go elsewhere. He's a second round pick at best in many mock drafts. A strong performance in Chicago could certainly boost his stock as he looks towards the May 29th NCAA deadline to decide whether to return to college or turn pro. We'll get a chance to talk to Hawkins on Tuesday to get his thoughts and plans about moving forward. Shannon is also on the media availability schedule and his agent tells me that he he will be there in front of reporters and cameras for the first time since December. It has been five months since we have heard from Terrence. Reporting in Chicago for your Alina Nation, Brett Barron's WCIA 3 Sports. Brett, thanks. You can head on over to WCIA.com for more footage from Coleman Hawkins' workout. And that'll also be the place to watch both of their interviews tomorrow.